Do you feel any different? Um, I think I feel a bit more tired than I did a few minutes ago. No, you cretin. Within yourself, do you feel a change? You did just kill someone. Yeah, um, I think I do. Um, stomach feels a bit knotted. That's not a change. It's just nerves. No, um, I think it, I think it might be guilt. Guilt? We've nothing to feel guilty about. Look at the life we had. What did we get, Eric? Uh, shit on, Eric. That's what. From day one, we've been under the foot of everybody else. Until now. Did you get anything out of it? Yeah. I feel like I've done something of worth. Something that matters to someone. Nice to him. His family, friends, girlfriend, boyfriend. To anyone that knows him. We've helped shape their life tonight. Right. right. So, what do we do now with the body? Put it on display in the town centre. What do you think we're going to do? We're going to burn and bury it. Idiot. Going up. Put him in some acid. To get rid of the evidence. Or cut him up into pieces and chuck him in the rubble. A couple of problems with those frankly stellar suggestions. I don't have a vat of hydrochloric acid back at my dingy one bedroom, and I'm not a complete and utter fucking mental case. I'll do the thinking, you just do what I tell you to do and we'll be out of here a hell of a lot quicker, okay? Wait until it's dark and then we... Bundle him in the back of his own fancy ass motor and finish the job. How long until that? Oh, about, about ten minutes or something. Shit. The police. I didn't no, no, no. Just keep calm and stay quiet. You can't pass me forever, you fucking rat! She can't. Looks like Steve wasn't so innocent after all. I need to take a piss. You stay here and try not to fuck anything up, okay? What are you doing? Just looking for easier ways to get rid of them. Are you that fucking simple? I'm not trying to help. Help! Type.
shaping how to dispose of bodies and putting your fingerprints all over the buttons, how is that helping you spastic? Stop it. Stop what? Stop treating me like a piece of shit. I'm not treating you any different than I normally do. That's the problem. We're meant to be friends, John. Friends don't treat each other like you treat me. Stop being a pussy. Every time you say something like that, it, it drives a wedge between us. A wedge? When have I ever driven a wedge between us? Remember when I was 16 and I had my first girlfriend, Kirsty Jackson? Yeah. What did you say when I brought her over to you? That she was too good for you? No, you said I wasn't good enough for her. You meant to lift me up, John, not put me down. It's just what men do, Eric. You are a man, aren't you? No, John, that's what dickheads do. I'm not a dickhead. I'm a person. I've had enough of this shit. Well, if you can't hack it, then maybe you shouldn't even be here. You know what, John? You're right. What are you doing? Painting a picture, what does it look like? Is it better than this? You can't just leave me with a fucking body to sort out. Why not? You seem to have it all planned out. I need you, Eric. No, you don't. Just sling him over your shoulder, throw him in the boot, you'll be fine. Not just for this. For everything. I don't have anybody else, Eric. I have no other friends. Yeah, neither do I, thanks to you. Probably never will, unless I move to town. Can't do that with no money. And I haven't got a degree, because you said university was for stuck-up dickheads who sponge off their parents. Don't you see? See what? Our families have gone. People we went to school with have grown up and had kids of their own and got jobs. But we stuck around, didn't we? Now we've only got each other. So I guess the choice is be alone forever or stick with me. Good. Now let's get the body.